Hello everyone, it is Mr. Braggus here from Mr. Braggus Gaming and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be doing another tutorial on a bucket server. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a plugin and for this example I'm going to be using the Permissions X plugin and then I'm going to show you how to use the Permissions X plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to search Permissions, oh dear, Permissions X, there you go, right there. Let's go ahead and click on that. You got all these. You're just going to want to uh, go to files. Link for this will be down in the description below as well. So then we got um, 1.11. So that's, um, if you have 1.11 server, that's basically what you're going to want. So we're going to download this. Download files, press OK. Then what you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and search anything else that you would like to install with the uh, Permissions X plugin because like essentials I would download I would like highly recommend this I got all of these just going to want to download essentials so yeah anyway And that that's okay. It's a spigot essentials. It's fine. Because spigot bucket, they both of them work for each other. So anyway, so now that we have those two, I'm also going to download essentials chat. I would download that as well. Because I do like that. Anyway, so what you're gonna want to do is I'm gonna drag all these out. So what you're gonna want to do is go to bucket server now you're gonna go to um, see this folder there should be one in there called plugins just highlight the ones that you want to put in and then just drag them into there and boom just like that they're installed that's how easy it is so then just start your uh, start your server and then it will begin to um, load everything because you're going to need and there you go so then I'm just gonna type in stop stop server there we go and then if you go to plugins there should be one now called permissions X go into there config.yml open that just quick um, th this is very important. There's only one. Do not edit anything else. Do not. Allow ops. You should probably set that to true. I would recommend doing that. If you don't want ops to have access to this stuff, then don't leave it at false. But I am setting it to true. Permissions that way. So here we go. This is, this is the, uh, the basics of basics basically so what you're gonna want to do is in here I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here it's gonna say groups and then you're gonna have lots of things right here so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna search essentials list actually I need um, permission nodes list there we go Mission nodes, essentials. Yeah, okay. There we go. All these, this is what you're going to want. So there we go. So basically, this is, um, these are all of the, uh, permission nodes. Now, what is a permission node? A permission node is basically something that you can give to a player to allow them to do something for example like fly so I'll put a little definition on the screen there and as you can see there is a ton of permission nodes that come with essentials a ton absolutely a ton so what I'm going to do is as you can see you uh, we've got groups don't touch that Default, you can touch this. 
So default is going to be the name of the uh, group. So I'm going to change this. We're going to do um, member. We're going to like that, okay? We got options, default, true. So basically that just means that whenever they join the server, this would be their default rank. Um, unless you add them to a specific um, unless you make sure that when they join the server they're a specific rank for example that would happen with moderators because um, normally when you have a moderator moder the moderators don't usually have to buy the uh, they don't normally have to uh, I, I am um Help the homeless. What was I gonna say? Oh no, 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 no. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Ah! Okay, I c Oh yeah. So like a moderator normally doesn't have to buy the moderator. <laughs> I, I don't even know what happened there. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. So the first thing that you see is permissions. Uh, that's, um, that's just, under here is going to be all your permissions. So don't touch that. So modify world dot asterisk. That means, um, the asterisk, if there's an asterisk after, let me just say like this. Um, essentials dot ban. Like this. If we did, you see all of these? These are all of the ban commands right here those are all the ban commands so let's say if we did essentials dot ban dot asterisk then they would have access to all of the commands that had to do with essentials dot ban okay does that make sense hopefully it does because i can't talk to you guys <laughs> anyway i can't i can't talk to you through the computer Essentially. Anyway, um, so under here it says modify world dot asterisk. You should probably leave that. That just means that they're going to be able to modify the world, like build and stuff. Um, now, if you have other things like that, you can um, change it so that they can't modify certain worlds. Like, let's say they spawn into your lobby. Is all you have to do is make it so that they're in adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can't destroy blocks. That's, that's super easy. Anyway. So that's that. So now we can start entering things. So you're just going to want to line it up. Make sure you have it lined up. And then we've got these. So we're going to only have a couple because this is the default rank. You don't want them to have too many things. Because, like, you know. So we're going to give them very... Um, basic things. So essentials.afk that's a good one to have so that people know that they're AFK, you know? Um, there's quite a few things that they should probably get like essentials.mail essentials.mail is something that they should probably get. And we're gonna do essentials. I believe there's um, essentials dot dot TPA I believe let's see I'm pretty sure there is give me just one second guys yeah okay right here there's a lot of teleport commands isn't there teleport oh essentials dot back yeah um tp toggle yeah essentials dot tpa access to the slash tpa command tpa accept you're gonna need that um essentials dot tpa accept Yeah, okay. TP accept. And I think we'll do essentials 
that message. Um, and then we'll do essentials dot. How's the player to have multiple homes or create named homes required for two plus homes? Okay, so we're gonna go with um, oops, essentials dot um set home so that they can set one home. That's it. And I believe that is it. Slash home. Essentials dot home. Delete home. We need that. So I'm going to enter the rest of these. And I, well, actually, no, that's it. That's all we're going to do. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make a new one. So you're going to line it up with the M. So basically, my next one is going to be um, donor. Okay? So then, um, colon. And then options default true. Leave it at, um, don't type options because it will automatically assume that if you don't have default is true, it will automatically assume that that is false. So just don't, don't worry about that. Um, so then you're going to go ahead and permissions. As you can see, that lines up. And as you can see, ooh, does this line up? I don't believe it does, actually. Hold on. It does not line up. All right, we need to go back by one. There we go. Now they line up. All right, permissions, colon under here so I'm gonna create this rank um, and then I'll show you guys when I am done quick um, to mention here you're gonna want to uh, copy these things and make sure that they are down here because they won't have access, basically. So just copy, if you want them to have access to everything that the previous rank had and more, and then make sure you just copy and paste all the permissions, but make sure they get lined up like they're supposed to. Because um, as you saw, Modify World is way out here for me. So just backspace that up until it's good. All right, guys, we are back. And I made just one more rank and added a couple things to um, the member rank. So all you're gonna wanna do with, when you're done with that is just click the X and it will be saved. Just like that. And now you have the permission set for those ranks. Oh, and be sure you do not do that. Make sure you don't do that. Alright, that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to smash that like button down below. And be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you will never miss a video on my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Bye.